Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about European institutions and if after traineeships you can stay in them. So let's get started. So we're going to focus mainly on EIB and European Parliament. More or less it should work the same for the rest of them how it works for Parliament. European institutions are slightly weird places to work in a sense of work. And if you start as a trainee, I know there's tons of questions. I've been there trainee two years ago, two and a half actually, at European Investment Bank. I was in Luxembourg, still am. But all of this should apply more or less for the rest of the places as well. So let's start with European Investment Bank and then we will move to Parliament. So for European Investment Bank, as a trainee, you're having five months traineeship with one exception of econ that does six months. And can you stay after traineeship? So many of you always ask me why I didn't stay at EIB because they just changed the policy on how you can stay. You usually could have stayed as an interim. That was a job position for a few months for a project that you could be assigned for. And that was the easiest way to stay after an internship. Unless something changed that I don't know of, this is not possible anymore because for this position you need three years of experience and that's how I didn't stay at EAB. But there is an option to stay. In a way, you have to apply for the graduate or junior professional position. That can be your team, other team, doesn't matter. The problem is that these positions are very limited and there used to be one year to two, three years. Now I think as a junior professional, you get a three-year contract, which is much better than what it used to. And they also pay you more than when I was applying for these positions. So basically you can stay as this graduate uh, junior professional, but you have to pass the process. The position has to be open. It might not be in your team. Your team may not be able to open the position and there would be no way to stay. But there is an option that there would be no way to stay for you at any, you know, any other department, any other place, because there just might be no junior positions for you open. If you see them, you have to start when you start your internship, when you start your traineeship, you have to try, look for the positions and already apply for whatever you can apply. So basically the process is very long. So it's normal that after one or two months that you start your traineeship and you see the position that you like, you just apply, apply, apply. And you say, look, I am a trainee. I am finishing this in this day. Or maybe you can somehow leverage and, you know, do something to finish your traineeship earlier to start a position. But usually the process is so long at EIB that there would be no issue. Uh, now moving to European Parliament. And that probably applies for Commission and the Court of Justice. I just have friends at Parliament, so I am sure about this for Parliament. For other ones, I am not sure, but most of the time they work exactly the same. So you have five months internship or maybe six. I think five months as well. And then your team at some point will start to tell you if they're going to extend you or if not. First, you can be extended as a trainee, I think, and you are paid the same. And I think it can be up to three months. And many, many trainees are extended because they have a gap between your traineeship and the next traineeship. So they need people. This is like usual option that most of the times it's easy to get, but that's very short term extension. And then you uh, or maybe it's one to three months maybe it's one to three months i don't want to mistake you it might be one to three months of extension or maybe only one month but anyways you can be extended for a little bit very short term on the same terms as trainees and then what you can do if there is position if there is need your team or another team that is related to what you're doing can ask you to be a temporary agent or contract agent that are positioned that are again temporary usually between few months, one year to three years. I don't think they can be longer than three years. You always have to be, you know, extended again. And again, they usually tell you a few weeks before the end of the contract if you're going to be extended. And then you have, for this position, you have to pass, pass a CAST exam. So you have to be eligible to apply having a CAST exam. So if you can, do the CAST exam when you're still a trainee. So this way you can apply right after for the position. Sometimes they open a position for you a few months after, so you go back home or something, but sometimes you may be lucky enough that they're gonna open the position right after your traineeship or maybe one month after. So you're gonna be able to afford staying in Luxembourg, no need to go back or something like this. So these are the options from the parliament. As I said, they're gonna probably apply as well to European Commission and European Court of Justice. This is Luxembourg, but that should apply for a whole world. Like, I mean, parliament and the others are mainly in Brussels and Strasbourg and Luxembourg, but for EIB you have everywhere. Just again, Luxembourg will be much easier to stay than anywhere else because the offices elsewhere are just super small. So for European Investment Bank, Luxembourg is the biggest office and that's going to be the highest possibility for you to stay. For other, might be 
difficult. You would have to be very, very lucky to have an open position in the office that is like 10 people for such a young experience. Uh, so just be sure that you know what you're getting into. And I know that traineeships are a huge unknown. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them either in a video or in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you'd hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm so this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Luxembourg living here, jobs, salaries, and expenses. So if you enjoy this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And here I will be the video about how to apply for the traineeship at European institutions and European institutions playlist. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.